like I said, I mean, we'll just say today is not a protest, it's not a demonstration. We're going to be doing a delegation to Senator Pierce's office, and we're going to, we have some, also some news we want to share with you about the recall, right? And how this is one more example. You've seen Senator President Pierce being too extreme for Arizona, right? An unwillingness to, let, to, to allow $60 million of our federal tax dollars to come back to Arizona to help workers and their families to make ends meet, right? And so, first of all, I want to announce just an update on the recall effort. Uh, over about, was about on May 31st, we submitted over 18,000 signatures. As of 7 o'clock this morning, over close to 10,000 signatures have been processed. Over 6,067 6, have been verified. That's a validity rate. That is a validity rate of 61%. So with that many signatures already being processed, we are on track to exceed 10,000 valid signatures. Right? So there's no longer that we're going to hear about all oh, those signatures are all invalid, all oh, they're all duplicates, oh, if anyone sign this, and this is about citizens using the law, statutory authority, to then go out and recall someone who they feel is too extreme for Arizona. So that's what that's, that's the first thing. I, based on what we've seen happen the last week or so on the recall effort, it's almost inevitable that the election will be in November. The pace at which they're moving, this thing, this thing can be wrapped up as the late of June, first part of July. And once it gets this, to the governor's desk, it's not going to matter whether she takes one day or 15 days, there's going to be a recall election in November to really see who's going to be the next person to represent LD18. Yeah. 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 And today we are also here to, to, to illustrate what's taking place in Arizona because of Russell Pierce's failed leadership. This is a sample check, right? Basically, this check is made out to Russell K. Pierce. It's from the Arizona Department of Economic Security, Unemployment Insurance Administration. It's dated, this is now, December 5th, 2011, from the amount of $212 signed by the taxpaying patriots of Arizona, which basically we mean that by that time, we believe he'll be actually eligible for unemployment. Yeah. Because he will now have a job because he will be recalled. So then he will see what it's like to get this amount of money right, and try to live off that. Yeah, this yeah, is not right. an incentive for anybody in Arizona to sit home and not go to work. How do you raise children on 212 a week? How do you pay your rent? How do you buy food? How do you send them to school on 212? So for him to be up there saying, this is an incentive for people to stay home is a disgrace. And it's all about the extreme policy. Yeah. Yeah. So at this point, we're going to be going inside again to do a delegation. And we have someone there to present. We, we understand that the legislature was supposed to meet today at 1.30. So we're going to sit there like other, although we're not lobbyists. We know lobbyists in suits, they all hang out here and wait for legislators to come in and out. So that's what we're going to do. So hopefully we won't be asked to leave. We won't be to say, you know, we're breaking any laws. But we're going to go in there and do that. So with that, I want to know so we're moving forward. And we'll be waiting for Senator Pierce to come in. So where's Carla Manis? Oh, right here. So she can present. Oh, I'd love to use my neighbor. The check. This is also LD18 resident and voter. So Randy, what's your point if he's already in the building? We don't know if he's in the building. We're going I know to go he's in the building. building. We're going to go to his office then right now. You That's can the go point. to the office? Absolutely. You prepared to get arrested? Why would I get arrested? I'm a citizen going to visit a senator on the stage, president of the Senate. Good. All right. Why are we going to arrest somebody for exercising our rights?